So this episode, yeah, it's called No Expectations, right? <laughs> you know, writers being clever. <laughs> being very, very clever. I just can't imagine being on camera and literally going through that process and then being told, no. You don't really have anything going on. Egg freezing is a hopeful idea. She wasn't thinking about the what if it's not it was gonna so, happen. It was so matter of fact how she entered it and then she gets to this point and you see this flood oh, of emotion. It's the job. Right. And that Kara's being a producer. But know? I think I think Mary Jane wanted her to be a friend. I want Mary Jane to start speaking up for herself, oh. but how many times do we keep pushing through because we have all these obligations to other people? She smiled through it. And then after the camera was off, you know, she let her have it. Speaking of friendships, let's talk about Lisa. Oh, man. I have some ideas about Lisa and David in particular. Mm -hmm. I'm... And clearly we do too. Hey, Lisa. How's Mary Jane? I'm fine, David. Thanks for asking. Is there such thing as a frenemy? In television shows and movies, we've put so much emphasis on the love relationship and the complication of that. They've been friends forever. And just like a relationship would have its ups and downs, so do our friendships. The question I always ask, and the writers and I talk about a lot, is would these two, if they met today, would, would they, they be, be friends? friends? And how much are we holding oh on to friends out of obligation or in, or out of history? Did they really outgrow each other? And, and and is that okay to outgrow a friend? Can I answer that? Yeah, you can. Absolutely. No. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think a lot of our problems would be solved if we were better communicators at the time things were happening and get to the truth. But a lot of times people can't handle the truth or we handle, think they can't, can't handle. handle the truth. We do also have to be sensitive to people's positions yes. and I think that that's something again that Mary Jane just continues to show. And I think she's frustrated and I think that's what we're showing with Mary Jane is you know when you're frustrated or stressed it comes out in a different way. We have to talk about this because when her dad oh. comes and literally embraces her oh. and says it's okay. Stop chasing some leave it to beaver dream that doesn't really work. Stop chasing goals that you really don't want. Why was that important? What I love about Paul Sr. is he's now retired. He can now tend to his children. Mm. I've all heard his backstory that he wasn't, he was there, but he was never physically there because he was working a lot. And he has that little bit of guilt. So he's really trying to be present for both kids. On one hand, he's telling Paul Jr., hey, you need some money? David has some money. <laughs> and Mary Jane's over here like, oh, people, I'm drowning. <laughs> I'm drowning, yeah. And then, but then on the other hand, just in case you are drowning, daddy comes over and says, hey, listen, I need you to go be happy. And it's just a beautiful scene. I love it. So I want you all to tune in next week to BET's Being Mary Jane. And of course, you are going to join Mara and 